Hi guys, welcome back and thanks for tuning in. It is hotter than the devil's crack out here today. I am down my local harbor. We're gonna try out a new firmware for the Femi X8 SE 2022. Uh, firmware guys, just give me a second. I wrote it down. I believe it's 3005A. Yes, 3005A and it optimizes the gimbal horizon and uh, recentering. So I got to test this yesterday. I actually did film it, but I wanted to do it over again just to be sure that everything is working as it was yesterday. Um, I can tell you guys that when I flew this yesterday, Horizon was absolutely perfect. So hopefully it still is today and uh, we'll have a good flight. And uh, this will be fixed for everybody now. So I'm gonna start a screen recording. This is something else why I wanted to redo this video because it didn't record the screen recording for me yesterday. Okay, into the Femi Navi 2020 app, enter device. And the other thing why I wanted to re-record this is the you everything, all the clouds were like way too blown out and white. So let's format that SD card. Okay, and before I take off here, I'm gonna play with that exposure value. Darken it up a little here. Uh, I believe it's gonna start raining here too, guys, but I really don't care. The dr drone is supposedly rainproof, so we'll continue flying anyway, because I did just feel a couple of light little raindrops. So let's start recording. I believe I can change the exposure value anyway once I get this in the air. Hopefully I can. And we will auto take off. Now I put it down to uh, minus 1.3. Let's see how it kind of looks okay on my phone here. We'll check it out. I'm just gonna wait a second here, make sure there's no toilet bowling. We have 14 satellites. So sky looks pretty decent with the exposure down that low. Let's see if we can crank it up a little here. I know you want it as close to zero as you can get it. It's at zero right now. Uh, something else I wanted to check guys is what I have everything set on. So let's go in the options. We're gonna, okay, I'm gonna stop recording for a second. I have to turn this on high quality. Okay, we're on 4K30, it's on fluorescent. Uh, the encoder is H265, see, yeah, well, I think we're good there. And okay, now we will start recording. Let's jack that exposure up a bit and let's see. Oh, okay, that's how it was yesterday. It was too white. So it must have been in the plus. So it's plus 0 0.3. That's on zero. Let's bring it down. Minus 0 0.7. We'll try it right there. So I know it darkens things up a little bit. I just want to sync the camera up here, guys. So there's a sync. So that's usually what I have trouble with when I get home and edit these videos. So let's do a little droney. And another thing I forgot to do yesterday is take a thumbnail pick. So I know I know I can still do it from snapping a, a screenshot from the video itself, but it's just a, you know, it's more work. And it takes me long enough now to get these videos edited, so. There we go. We're up almost 90 meters. We are out 185 meters. Let's start. Cycling around here, put that camera up just a little bit. 
So I have my grid line on here, guys, and it uh, looks absolutely, mm, I think it's just slightly off, but it's straightening very fast. So yesterday there were absolutely no issues. I'll make a few quick turns here and show you guys. Yeah, that's that's on. That's that's bang on. So very good. Good job, Femi, with this. I know it took a long time, but they finally got it worked out here. And I'm glad they did, and I'm sure a lot of you guys are glad they done it. I know it's quite a pain in the ass when you uh, when you have a tilted horizon. That's Indian Beach, guys. Most of you know that place because I've flown here multiple times now. Uh, another issue I had yesterday was a disconnection, but it's caused from the cable. I don't know if it's the port on the transmitter itself or it's the cable, but pulling the cable and pushing it in with a little bit more pressure brought the image back. So, if any of you guys do have a disconnection going on, try that out. I know it worked great for me, and hopefully it fixes it for you guys. So we have two ferries in port today. That warship is still down at CME, guys. You can see there that they have it totally enclosed in tarps now and staging, so I guess it's being painted. And who knows what other work is being done to it. So our horizon is slightly going off now and then, but it's bouncing right back. It's off right now by the look of it. Uh, actually, hold on, it could be landscaping there. Yeah, it's a landscape. So we'll turn this way. Yeah, it's just slightly off here now, but it's recentering. So another thing I did, guys, was take that SD. Uh, sorry, uh, having a brain fart. The ND filter and the filter holder. I took them both off for this flight. And I think I'm going to land and stick them back on and see if that throws the gimbal off. But our horizon is actually pretty good here right now and it, it is correcting itself when it goes off. And it's not going off in big increments like it was before. So okay, I'm going to bring this in and land. Actually, we're going to do a return to home and the precise landing is on so we'll let it find that pad activate return to home drone is coming back it is just directly out here in front of me 200 meters out a little less Terrible weather here the last few days, guys. Every morning I woke up, the place was polluted with fog and smog, and took a few hours to uh, actually clear up the last few days. The same with today. It didn't clear up here until quite a ways after dinner time. Sometime after 12, it actually cleared. So the drone is... Uh, just above me right now and it's coming down saying landing pad not detected as usual and it won't find it until it gets pretty close to the ground here and when it does find it it will work its way over to that pad uh, it's right above my head right now guys it just found it drone is slightly moving to my right and back and it's coming down to that pad
So one thing I've heard about that new uh, Mavic Mini 3 is that it's missing the landing pad. And this one actually just missed slightly, guys. But it's a little breezy. The uh, wind could have pushed it. So, okay, I'm going to stop for a second, reset this up with the ND filter and the filter holder, and we'll try it again and see if that throws a gimbal off. And I'll catch you guys right back. Okay, guys, ready to go again. So switch it off, return to home. It's saying gimbal not ready. Uh, that's another thing that has been happening since the last couple of updates is that it now takes time to prepare everything. Yeah, it's still saying gimbal's not ready. Uh, sometimes I do have to reboot the system here too. Let's just see if it takes here before I try restarting. There we go. Okay, we're good to go. Let's just check everything, make sure everything is still set the way I had it. 4K 30, quality on high. We're on fluorescent. The exposure value is minus 0.7. We'll start recording. And auto takeoff. Drone almost hit the camera. It's in VPU, it's not in GPS. There we go, now we have GPS. Now well, back to VPU. That's another thing Femi has to work on, guys, is it's clicking out of GPS mode for some reason. There, it's done it again. Drone is slightly drifting, now it's back to GPS. So I'm not sure why it does that. And the other thing that I have going on is compass gets interfered, which it isn't doing right now, but usually mid through the flight, it tells me the compass is interfered, fly carefully. So, okay, let's do another droney here. I'm gonna get it over in front of me down a little bit and reversing up so at least we're holding a GPS signal now and it's not like we didn't have enough satellites it's flicking between 14 and 15 satellites okay so now that we're up to 60 let's get a little bit higher first 80 meters 90 we'll get it up to 100 there we go and we'll put that camera up and check our horizon looks on to me we still have those grid lines on guys and it's bang on with the uh the sea level here as i'm looking out that sea level the line is directly across the ocean yeah it looks good okay so let's just fly around here a bit we'll give the craft some fast movements back and forth turning and uh, see if it goes off there's some quick movement and and still on guys it's still on there so good to know even with the ND filter and the filter holder on it's still holding horizon which it always did for me, but uh, I wanted to check because since they've changed everything now, that it holds horizon without this filter and filter holder. I wanted to be sure that it's holding it with the filter and filter holder on the drone. So we're good to go. Now, hopefully any new firmware updates that Femi puts out that it doesn't mess with this. So I know my 2020 version now has horizon issues since the last firmware they put out. And I never really had any horizon issues with that drone before that. Not that I can remember anyway. Let's give you 
guys a little view of the ships here uh, so I, th I guess we'll end this video guys we know everything works good here I'm running low on battery power now anyway I'm down to the 50% mark and I want to get a thumbnail pick before I bring this drone back in so with that being said I hope you enjoyed today's little firmware flight video we know everything works good uh, I like to do these to show you guys that it is safe to perform this firmware upgrade that you're not going to mess the drone up if you're new to the channel please subscribe leave a like leave a comment make sure those notifications are on and we'll catch you in the next one peace out